after my graduation from high school, I was so bored in the community. One day, just I was moving around my street and uh, I came across this advertisement on the board uh, from Film Aid Organization uh, concerning the training for the uh, and the entrepreneur training that uh, I've really uh, happy seeing that and uh, I took the opportunity and I uh, stepped myself into it. Where I come from, there's a lot of hidden stories and uh, with the advertisement I saw on the board, uh, it has really boosted me that uh, what I should do is that I need to, to be the storyteller within my community. This was the only link that can create me and connect me from different communities in Kakuma or globally. When I started out before, I was an actress and I would always see the crew behind the camera and I would always see the, uh, the final product. So I wanted to know what happens in between me acting in front of the camera before that and what happens after. In first place, I joined the training because uh, I wanted to know how to write a structured story. But then I got interested into filmmaking where I learned to structure a script as it can be followed uh, with instruction that can lead the director to produce something which, which can be seen on the screen. And then I saw myself like, uh, why can't I be a director myself uh, to direct my own stories? I've learned very many skills from the filmmaking uh, courses. First, I learned some life skill and as well as some practical skills in the field, like uh, how to operate a camera. Like I had, I will see a camera. The, the closest I came to a camera was the one in my phone. But after the course, I could operate a camera. I could edit videos. And uh, some life skill I obtained, it was public speaking. It gave me some confidence. They challenged me to a point that it was either I speak up for myself. I get skill like kukua director, ata neza kwa producer, ata niko na passion ya kuhakt sa hizi kwa zikitambo nilikuwa na ile uoga siwezi act. But vile nili join film training, nika kwa na hiyo passion na confidence. The skills that I've acquired from film aid, I came back to my community and I started our own studio with some young guys that we were being with them in the same class. Uh, it's called Irish Film Studio. And with the Irish Film Studio, uh, we work to be the voice projector of the local people in our community, to tell stories of their, their lives and to share with the world. So this is mainly emphasized on our, on our works, which are really based on the aims that we want to, to achieve. From what we have witnessed and we continue to uh, benefit from, even as an organization working with uh, various community groups, it's an opportunity that we would encourage any other youth that is interested in uh, using media as a tool to self-express and uh, tell stories and uh, speak about the issues that touch them as young people and uh, people living uh, in the camp. I think it's an opportunity worth seizing. Film aid film training, you can use it to the community. So, I can use it to make use of my phones and I can use it to make use of my videos. There are stories in the community that are used to make use of my phones. But, what I can use it to make use of my phones and I can use it to make use of my phones and I can use it we act out in the entrepreneurship uh, program that we learned in the training i managed to to come up with my own production company a small production company bke studios and uh, right now i am kind of uh, engaging youth in the community to join the the company so that they can learn some few things and um, whenever i have a work I organize my team and we go to the field to, to get what the client wants and then we get paid. So this is how I, we kind of give back to the community. Apart from us, when organizations engage these media training alumni, uh, it also becomes uh, their source of livelihood. And uh, I have witnessed this a number of times uh, where they are able to improve, they get their equipment, they are able now to engage running their own independent organizations and that is quite tremendous because of uh, 
the skill that they receive from this program. There is a high demand of this kind of skills in Kakuma because when people look at me the way I was before and the way I am now, they are like, how did you gain these skills? Where did you go to gain these skills? And I am eager to tell them I attend filmed media trainings. So to the organization supporting this program, PRM, HFPA and UNHCR, thank you. Keep on doing this to help more youth in Kakuma refugee camp and the host community to become better version of themselves.